Today is November 8th, 2023. And today in my studio, I'm making a calendar. I've been wanting to make a calendar since last year when my friend Kim Blue gave me this cute calendar. Since then, I've thought about what I value in keeping track of time and what was realistic to make within a couple of weeks. How did you get it down there? <laughs> First, I want to make something that's compact. I imagine something that'll live on a desk or can be hung easily on a wall. I also want my calendar to perform a sort of magic trick. At the end of the month, whenever I've had calendars in the past that I really like the illustrations of, I always get a bit sad being done with the month and not being able to see the illustration again or really do anything with it. So I'm gonna pre-perforate all of my pages so it's easy for people to turn their calendar into a little print or a postcard. So this way, it's a sort of two-in-one. I bought a yellow colored drum earlier this month and this is the first time I'll get to use it. Having a new color for a Rizzo machine is like opening up a whole new kaleidoscope of colors. At least that's what I'm hoping for. To start with, I have this color chart which helped me to figure out what combination of colors I wanted to use. With a little bit of trial and error and test printing, I figured out exactly what ratios I thought worked best. And as for the illustrations themselves, I like to keep a library of photos on my phone. So whenever I'm walking around and I see something interesting, I just snap a photo. And uh, later on, I like to go through and kind of figure out what's been catching my interest. And one of the biggest categories over the years has been city garden. So especially in Seoul, because there's not a lot of green space, it's interesting to see little gardens crop up in front of apartment buildings or made out of all these different flower pots or maybe like a little tiny public green space on a random street corner. Those sorts of things I really like and I think they're so cute and charming. So every illustration for each month is taken from a photo I took in that month over the years. A few tips for printing. Always organize your paper. It might not seem worth it at the beginning, but keeping a nice, straight, uniform stack of paper when you're printing is definitely worth it because you can't expect your prints to be nice and aligned if your paper is really wonky. So definitely take the time to straighten it out between each color. Second, include a registration mark somewhere on your page if you can fit it in. So for this case, I had this big blank area at the top that I could cut off. So I had a couple of registration marks there and it just helps me to figure out like if something is off exactly how and what direction I need to maybe move things around in to get things back on the rails. Third, keep an eraser handy, especially when you're printing quickly and maybe having roller marks or having fingerprints from touching paper and touching ink, having an eraser around is so helpful to fix those little mistakes. And it saves some perfectly good prints from being thrown in the trash. And now at the end of your printing process, you'll have a nice stack of prints like this, ready to be cut and organized. You guys can see I did all three layers of the different months. And so total, it's like three pages. Each page fits four months on it. Doing all that takes maybe, maybe it took like four hours. It's 3.54 now, so like four-ish hours troubleshooting and stuff. And yeah, I am really tired now. I'm pretty hungry. Um, when I get into a flow of working, it's hard for me to pause. Um, sometimes, even though I know it's good to take breaks. So there's more I could do today. I next need to cut all of these. Since it's in a spread of four, I basically need to cut them into the four pieces and like trim them all. And yeah, I think it will be a nice little packaging day tomorrow maybe. And I'm only gonna package like five of them first because uh, the market, 
I'm doing a calendar market, that's why I made a calendar, which is it's kind of just a good excuse to have a deadline and like a reason to make something fun. Um, and so anyway, for this market, they want you to give them five calendars to start with and then if you need to restock, you can do that. But yeah, that's a job for tomorrow. So for the rest of today, uh, first I'm gonna take a little break. And since it's, since it's already pretty much 4 p.m., before it gets too dark outside, I think I'm gonna take a walk around the neighborhood and do like a little scavenger hunt. Cause it's fall, I also like to pick up leaves and like, I make like brushes and stuff out of stuff I find on the ground. So yeah, I thought maybe we'll take a walk, get out of the studio for a second and explore. Cause you can't just sit inside and try to make things all the time. You have to like gather things to spur you on and to not put so much pressure on yourself to just like make things out of thin air. It kind of de-stresses me a bit to know that I can just collect things and gather things and I can kind of organize and distill it into an illustration or a project later on. <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna walk around and look for some um, inspiration, some fun things in the wild, see what we find. Today is November 9th. It's very cold today. And my calendar is due tomorrow. With our pages cut and organized, the only thing left to do is to assemble them. So, very quickly, this is how to put together a calendar, or at least my calendar. Gather your materials, your trusty eraser, your calendar pages, your cover, the tools that will help you cut and fold things, and maybe even a few cute accessories. Perforate your pages. Since I want these to turn into postcards, I use this little scrapbook cutter to individually perforate all the pages. Group your pages together in two groups of six. Keep them together with a little extra leftover paper or maybe a paper clip. Get your cover ready. For mine, I folded up the bottom to make this little folder and my groups of pages will live inside them. I also use this little corner cutter for a little finishing touch. Package with love and your choice of tape, maybe some stickers, and of course a little clip for hanging your calendars. And they are ready to go. I have been giving out some calendars to some of the cafe owners that I see on a weekly basis and it's just been a nice thing to be able to give people to show my appreciation for them. And of course, I'm really thankful to all of my friends and to any of you or people who have seen my calendar out there and bought one for themselves. It means a lot to me. If you want to get one, they're on my website, on my neighbor shopping website if you're in Korea, or they're also at Bear Cafe until February. If you wanna see any more behind the scenes stuff and even some of my digital assets like brushes and stuff like that, they're all on my Patreon, um, which you can find the link for right here. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. <laughs>